Okay, so this will be a tutorial for mechanical reasoning test for the fire series one. So the first one I'm going to run through is just uh, cogs and gears. The question is, if we turn gear A clockwise, which direction will is B going to turn? So that's gear A there, gear B there, gear A clockwise. So that's that way. I want to know which way gear B is going to turn. So if that's turning that way, that tooth is going to impact that tooth and push it that direction, which is going to make that one turn anti-clockwise. And when that tooth hits that one, it's going to push that one up or in that direction, which is going to make this turn clockwise. So the answer is that it's going to turn clockwise. Nice and easy. It's good to get these ones because you get a bit of confidence out of it. Right, so the next one, pulleys. How much weight must we add on box B so it reaches the ground? One kilo, four kilos, two kilos, or a thousand grams. Right here, so we need to be careful with this sort of one as far as reading the question. How much weight must we add? So it's already six kilograms. So how much weight do we need to add to overcome the eight kilograms? So as this is a fixed pulley and there's only one of them, it requires more effort on this side to lift that, to lift that weight than if it was more than one pulley. So we need more than eight kilograms to move that six ki we need more than eight kilograms over here to move this eight kilograms over here. So one won't do it, that'll make it seven. Four, that'll give us 10, which would be enough. Two, eight, which is even, so not enough. If that was even, it would not be able to do it. And a thousand grams is not enough because that's one kilo. So simply, it's four kilograms. And I think the key thing that you need to learn out of this one is the fundamentals of a fixed pulley. So a fixed pulley in this scenario will require more effort to move a load on the other side of it. Okay, question nine. The two items A and B are balanced. If we add a small ball on side A, in which direction do we need to move C so that the two sides are in balance again? So if that's currently balanced, a and B, with C down there. That means adding extra weight of the ball is going to tip it this way. So to keep it balanced or to balance it again, we're going to have to move C slightly down this way to compensate for the extra weight on this end so that B has a little bit more leverage down this end. So it would have to move to the left slightly to compensate for that. Leave it where it is now. Well, that's not going to work because we're adding extra weight. To the right, if we did that, it would definitely tip down like that. So it's to the left. I hope you've got something out of this one.